I think for, for me, what's always drawn me to Magnificat has been the mission. You know, this idea that having Mary as our role model, that young women are empowered to be confident and compassionate and courageous and to take on whatever path they take on in servant leadership to others. Well, if you support Magnificat, you're really supporting a quality education, again, holistic education with spiritual, social, academic excellence for the girls. And if you're an alum, that makes your diploma all the more valuable. You know, it was really fun to see the students and their donors interact with each other over a luncheon. And at the time, we were actually talking about um, empowerment of young women and what that meant and watching the students really interact with their donors, hear their perspectives on the issue, be able to share their sincere thanks for the opportunity um, to come to Magnificat and to be part of this community. I was um, honored to bear witness to that. I love meeting with the scholarship donors. Um, I love seeing the people who are kind of behind the scenes and giving us this wonderful education. Uh, having the scholarship just means the world to me. It, really shows me that, you know, I'm able to receive this education. I'm able to, you know, continue my education in the future. And my parents, I know, are so grateful and they've done so much for me. To be able to kind of give back in this way to them, it just means so much. To me, it's, it's great to give somebody the opportunity who really has the talent to go to this school who may not be able to financially afford it and to make it a little bit easier for them. It's also a way to remember our parents each and every year and uh, thank them for their uh, hard work and, and, and blessing of putting my sisters and my brother and I through Catholic education all our years. Uh, there was undoubtedly a sacrifice there um, and I think it's great to, uh, to memorialize that. When I was a senior, I received aid from an anonymous person who made it possible for me to finish my senior year and who paid my tuition. And that meant everything to me. I don't know who the person was. And just the fact that, that Sister Cheryl and that the school believed in me so strongly and this anonymous person that they would pay money to help some girl that they never met. I mean, I've never forgotten that. I think about it all the time. I actually still have a copy of the check and I look at it and it just reminds me that somebody believed in me and I want to do that for other people. The magic of Magnificat is Mary. It's really the one word that stands out for me when I think about Magnificat. She's really representative of everything that's good and right and, uh, and she's the ultimate role model for all of us. You know, how cool is that? Who wouldn't want their daughter to have Mary as a role model for them. It's the sisterhood, it's the encouragement, it's the opportunities presented to us as young women. There are so many things here um, that Magnificat provides us and I don't think anything is ever limited in what we can or cannot do. You can be whatever you want to be without anybody judging you. And that's the thing that's magical about this school, is it gives girls a safe place to grow and get a good education and to become women who can lead. Last year during the spring, I think it was in May, so it was close to the end of the school year, and it was really gorgeous outside, and the blossoms on the trees on Hilliard were in bloom. And so I took my ninth graders outside for class, and I remember they were sprawled out on the ground and they were analyzing I am statements from the Gospel of John and I just it was this perfect balance of being relaxed and being outside but then they were also doing what I thought was pretty challenging theology and I just felt very lucky. There's learning going on everywhere, learning of mind, learning of heart, learning in community, learning individually. It's a most scintillating atmosphere. The community really cares for each other and I've been very um, impressed and like frankly overwhelmed by how much the community takes care of each other. And during my shadowing experience, I just felt like this was the place for me. The moment I stepped through the doors, the sense of community and the sense of welcoming that comes with coming to Magnificat. I thought it was really interesting that there was like so many religions and like so many races that I could be associating with every day. And so, and like nobody is 
mean about it or like they pointed out or anything. It's just like an everyday occurrence. And I thought it was really cool that we could be like one big melting pot together and just like experience school together. Just looking back at eighth grade, um, I'd always just wanted to be part of it and I always just felt like I was on the outside. I can quote our t-shirt that we received freshman year. It says, from the inside looking out, you can never explain it and from the outside looking in, you can never understand it. And that's just exactly the way that I feel. Being a part of this community just means so much to me. It's brought me so much joy and just thinking that if I hadn't had chosen to attend here freshman year, my life would be drastically different. I can't even imagine how different my life would be, not only without the community of Magnificat, but just without the people that I've met. It would just be so different, so I'm just so grateful to be here. The magic of Magnificat, in one word, is empowering. It's sustainability. Powerful. Collaborative. Humility. Service. Limitless. Of the millions of words I'd like to use about Magnificat, I will try to distill it to faith-filled. That includes the joy, that includes the gratitude, that includes the courage and uh, development of the girls in every aspect. <laughs>